Classes are starting up at a new kind of public charter school in the Southland. It's a middle school with a military twist that is giving gifted young students a first-class education in a disciplined environment. News Channel 3's Alex Savage has the story new at 5. Pay attention, stay alive. It's early morning as these seventh graders stand at attention with shoes shined and shirts tucked in. Second, third, and fourth squads. This young first sergeant hasn't even cracked the books yet. He's still busy organizing his two platoons in formation as another day begins at the newly formed California Military Institute. It's a school with a military flavor. This publicly funded charter school in Paris was approved last year by the state, and these 50 students here make up the school's inaugural class. Run by Major G. Allen Gaither and other retired military personnel, the main goal of the institute is to prepare these young people for a future in the military. They want to know what the military is about or if they would get along in the military, and this is a good opportunity for that. I thought it would be like good to know stuff about the military and how it is, how it works. But even though she's at a military institute, Cindy Garcia says she doesn't ever plan on joining up. In fact, she wants to be a doctor. And after they finish morning formation, these students are supposed to be in their classrooms here at 9 o'clock sharp, ready to learn without any exceptions. And many of the students here say that it is the disciplined nature of the school here that they enjoy. Yeah, but this is really a more difficult school than uh, the last one I was in, and it's fun because I like to be challenged. And parents here like their children to be kept in line. About face! They have so much more respect than at other schools. They're politer, they're... just more respect. But unlike most military schools, the Institute isn't trying to reform troubled kids. These students here haven't done anything wrong. In fact, they are the best and brightest, handpicked from schools all over the area, most with 4.0s before they came here. And whether they plan to enlist in the military or not, school administrators say these kids will be marching into a future filled with promise. Alex Savage, KESQ, News Channel 3. Parents don't pay anything to enroll their children at the charter school. They only pay $100 for a uniform and foot the bill for bag lunches every day.